In today's episode we will be bringing you some sweet sweet science from around Bob, as a follow up to our jewel Mega Explorer that we have launched a few episodes ago. But before we can do that we have another quick follow up. Yes, we need to launch another Kerbin Long Range Relay. And that will be the basically the large long range satellite that we launched a couple of episodes ago. So yes, there we go. We are launching once again into the polar orbit the satellite which will allow us to talk to Joule, Sarnas and whatnot. And the main problem of our communication issues with Joule have been that in fact we didn't ha we only had one relay, which on some occasions would lose connectivity. So this time I'm sending another relay into the polar orbit which will make bring the total number of those relays to two which will increase redundancy and help us get better connectivity on our way to well Joule and Drez and Sarnas and all the other beautiful planets. Alright so once again this is a little bit of a repeat. Uh, for those of you that might find it you know that you want to skip this I'm gonna put uh, uh, timestamps in the in the description of this video so if you want you can just time skip to the part where we are collecting the Bob science however I think it's good just that we recap and I'm trying to follow up on everything that we're doing to launch and look how beautiful the Kerbin's curvature starts to pop up as we go and progress towards our North Pole and I'm trying to really go into the orbit directly northwards so that we can circularize at 110 by 110 orbit from which we will then pop down because this one be a south pole satellite it will be permanently above the south pole of Kerbin so 1080 and 48 meters per second to do and those will be happening in 59 seconds just popping up the fairing and let's queue up the science so here we have target active vessel another target will make uh, i'm actually thinking this one should go to probably sarnas just to cover in that general direction all right and then let's execute the plan maneuver a little bit of wobble by the flight computer sas freaking up well those things can happen when you're trying to do too powerful rocket with a too high, you know, too high gimbal thrust. All right, so that leaves us with 908 meters per second. So all in all, I'm thinking that probably from here I want to extrude down to 3.8 thousand, and that's 687, which means we should probably be decoupling our booster and trying to land it somewhere. So there we go. It goes like you know, wobble, 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 wobble. You know, like a like an old bus on a dirt track. Yeah, something like that. Sorry, didn't have the better. Uh, you know, let's plan to execute the plan maneuver. That's gonna be happening in three minutes. There we go. Probably should detach now and the probe should continue its merry way on its own. All right, killing off the flight computer and now ditching the fairing. There we go. Antennas. And uh, the solar panels. Good. So now, at the apoapsis we should be performing the circularization. But first things first, let us get rid of the booster. The booster will be going also all the way down and then it will be performing the deorbit burn. So there we go, add maneuver and uh, the main craft will circularize at roughly 400 kilometers by 3.7 thousand. Q, execute, 83 meters per second burn, it's a tiny burn. It's a predecessor to allow us to safely and securely extract all the data around Paul, Bob and whatnot. We did manage to get a lot of science from, you know, Julian's moons, Lathe, Val, Tylo, some even from Jewel, but Paul, Paul and Bob, we managed to collect, but we weren't able to send because the probes have mostly been incommunicative. And that was one of the main problems. So right now, we're just placing a satellite that will help us with that communication capability to ensure that we can actually transmit that science. All right. 
So that one you will be renaming yourself to Kerbin Long Range Relay 2 and mark this a relay, deactivate the engine, there we go, make a screenshot, beautiful. All right, there we go, nice enough screenshot. All in all, I don't want to think about it too much. That being said, we do have this Mega Deployer. And that one, I'm just now telling it to start talking to the Kerbal Long Range Relay 2, so that now each dish is pointing towards a different relay, and that will make wonders for our ability to control the craft. And actually relay, more importantly, is the relay. Because this craft we don't need to control that much, but we really want to get that, you know, stuff. So, there we go. Alright, and now let's see. Around Bob, if we go around Bob, we should have a probe there. Bob, there we go. And this one doesn't have connectivity, only when it gets close to its mothership. So that tells us that we should probably wait until we get into the range of the Jewel Mega Explorer. So let us time accelerate a little bit and see if we manage to get some connectivity. Some time will pass and our windows to Sarnas and stuff will might happen. So let's see, do we get the connectivity now or no, now, no. Several things need to align for us to get... Oh, we had connectivity there. Maybe on the next pass. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. We have connectivity. That means we can actually now review the science experiments and transmit the data. So I'm quickly, say, you know, reviewing everything. Magnetometer, telemetry, gravioli, RPWS, whatever I can get my hands on, I'm pushing reviews so that I can transmit the science experiments from here all the way to Kerbin. All right. There we go. And making sure, look at how Jewel looks beautiful in the background. Transmit, magnetometer, gravioli, RPWS, two hot thermometer, and barometric scan. All of this have now been transmitted all the way. And now I'm just spamming a little bit of extra science for that bonus. And let's see if we manage to get low above, low below above Bob, we could get another batch of science. So let's do just that. We're gonna queue another maneuver node and then we're gonna be doing a lot of more science. Now I have dialed in the signal delay and I'm queuing up all of the science experiments that will be happening when this probe breaches periapsis. Alright, I think that's everything queued up, so let us time accelerate until the burn. Executing the plan maneuver in 3 minutes. Alright, soon enough we will be hitting the gas. There we go. Tiny fart, but enough to get us to low periapsis. And now let's time accelerate until we get to that periapsis. Look how beautiful Jewel looks in the background. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it glorious? Oh, apparently we are still in space high because why? Our periapsis is 28. So clearly that's not enough. Well, then let's go further down. How low do we need to go? Would that be enough? I guess so. Now, our periapsis should be really low. If we go this, it's 21. Yeah, let's do that. Once again, I'm making sure that I'm gonna be queuing up all the experiments and then hopefully this time we will be better luck. So we were still in space high above Bob. Yeah, apparently we have to be really low above, above Bob to make, manage to get some good science. So, another engine fart. 
which should be happening right about now-ish. Probably it'll go like... Yeah. Alright. There we go. Now let's see if we manage to get some better science. And time warp halted. Apparently we cannot go any faster now and we cannot accelerate while we are getting below 10,000 meters. But on a plus side we are in space low, which means we will be able to collect science as soon as we manage to accelerate this 3 minutes and 26 seconds. So yeah. Alright, and the science have starting popping up. We are in space low. So we are just, you know, queuing them and storing them because currently we have no connection, so we cannot transmit science. We don't have the connectivity to our relay node, which would be the, magn the Mega Explorer. So we are queuing all that we can, and then we will be transferring all the science above. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh, and look the jewel rise, how it looks. It's gorgeous. All right, so now we are left with only one task. Getting out of this situation and then transmitting the science. And after more time than I would like to admit in physics warp, we have managed to get a connectivity back again. So we can now review all the glorious data and the glorious sounds that we will be transmitting back home to Kerbin. Oh, there's another glory shot. And let's see what do we manage to transmit. Transmit this, transmit that, transmit this, and transmit that. There we go. Barometer on, off, and there we go. So, we managed to get another science score for the win, and we will be using that science to unlock further research nodes. But that's it for today. I've been Groundforks, and I'll see you in the next video. 447 to be exact.